Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys a couple cool tricks uh, to keeping your dimensions clean uh, using some built-in tools in AutoCAD. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go quick here. Uh, so if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all my new videos. Uh, so today's tip, I'm gonna show you guys two tools uh, that help you organize and clean up your dimensions. I know dimensions are a popular topic since pretty much everybody needs to use them in some way or another, depending on the style of drawings you're making. Uh, but these little tools will help clean them up and keep them organized. So you can see here, I've got a standard dimension here of the inside of this room. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a cool trick when you've got two dimensions crossing. Now, you're always gonna to wanna to try and avoid crossing dimensions. Uh, that's just best practice. But in the case where sometimes they have to happen, uh, in this case, you could avoid it by moving this dimension up. But as you'll see in the next step, this area is gonna be used. So let's just say in your case, uh, like sometimes this will happen, you have crossing dimensions. Uh, there's ways to avoid this. You can put a frame around this text. You can use wipeout. Uh, there's also this easy tool here in the dimension uh, ribbon. Uh, under dimensions in the uh, annotate ribbon tab here, you've got these uh, two tools here. And this is what I'm going to go over today. We're going to show you the break command. And this is going to break a dim line where it crosses over uh, other objects. Uh, in particular this dimension here. So I'm gonna select the dimension I wanna clean up, and then we're just gonna leave it as auto, and you're gonna see that it wipes that out uh, automatically so that you can keep your uh, crossing dimensions and still be able to read them. All right, so we'll keep moving on here. Hopefully keep this under two minutes. The next uh, tool I'm gonna to use is the auto align tool for dimensions, and I'm gonna show you why this is helpful. It's helpful when you've got a series or a string of uh, dimensions in an area like this. Uh, you can see that these are all randomly spaced. Uh, let's say I wanna put this one over here a little bit, but the gaps are all kind of weird and it just doesn't look very professional. If you wanna have that kind of machine or automated styling of your dimensions, you can want everything equally spaced. So up here, you're gonna grab the adjust space uh, button and click it and you're gonna choose, it's gonna ask you for the base dimension. So it's gonna take this dimension as the outside dimension and it's gonna equally space the rest. So we're gonna choose our outside or base dimension. Uh, you can choose the inside one, you can also choose the middle one, it's just gonna equally space everything. So once you've got your base dimension selected, you're gonna select your other objects or other uh, dimensions, and then you're gonna simply hit enter and it's gonna ask you for a spacing value or you can just use the auto I'll use the auto here, and you can see it's equally spaced all of these dimensions uh, the same distance apart, giving you a really clean dimension look uh, and helping save you time. So there you go. That's two quick dimensioning tips uh, in roughly two minutes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers! <laughs>